right, you all? This is E-Man Booze. Happy 2016! Seems like the year's starting out pretty good so far, except for that damn blizzard we had here last week. Look, I done shoveled so much snow. I got so much snow piled up on my front lawn, I can barely see my truck outside. We was digging out for days. I'm so sick and tired of snow, I don't want to see it again for the rest of the year. That's going to be pretty, pretty impossible to, to do, but uh, we hoping for it. In any event, things are starting to melt down. I'm getting back in the swing of things. And this year, we hope to bring you many, many more great Artists and Spirits reviews. And thanks for watching. We appreciate your support. Now, for the first Spirit of the Year to be reviewed in 2016, we're going to feature Hill Rock Estate's Solera Age Bourbon Whiskey. This is a very special bottle here. We're going to tell you about how it's made, the story behind it. We're going to smell it, nose it up, of course, and we're going to taste it. So let's get some in the glass and get it opened up and aired out here a little bit. Now, this small estate distillery is located in Ancrum, New York, about 100 miles north of New York City. It's a property owned by a fellow named Jeffrey Baker who started Hill Rock Estate in 2011. And on the property sits a Georgian home, a beautiful Georgian home built around 1805 or so. And the property used to be owned by a former Revolutionary War uh, captain who was also a grain merchant. You see, the Hudson Valley of New York, where Ancrum is located, at one time produced more than half of all the rye and barley that was consumed in the United States. So it was a real big grain region. And there were literally close to a thousand little small farm distilleries that all went away when Prohibition came. But this distillery here is rekindling that uh, tradition of making uh, whiskey and spirits up in the great state of New York. So, so uh, that's a cool thing there. By the way, check out this bottle here. Is this not the baddest ass bottle you've ever seen? Look at it. You can stack these up on a shelf like books so you know what barrel it's from. This one happens to be barrel number 40. And it's got the massive distiller's uh, signature on the bottle. The master distiller being David Pickerel. He was the master distiller for Maker's Mark for many years, and he's a consultant to this uh, estate distillery here. And he's also helped out about 20 more, 20 plus more other artisan distilleries all around the country get off the ground making great spirits. You probably remember we did a review on St. Augustine uh, Distillery Spirits, the gin and vodka. He, he, he's a master distiller for them too. So uh, he does a good job getting uh, his education uh, into the field here and, and helping the small distilleries uh, reach stardom. And uh, that's a cool thing too. All right, now, what is a Solera Age Bourbon Whiskey? Well, we all know what bourbon is. You gotta, it's got to be made from at least 51% corn. And they do that. They, they, they grow the grains on their farm right there. Uh, where Hill Rock is located, and, and so they're really classified as a field-to-flask distillery. And also, they're the first field-to-flask distillery in the United States since Prohibition to floor malt their grains. They have a malting house there, so they can do all that stuff. I can't wait to try their malt whiskey. Man, I just, I just, I'm dying to get myself a hold of one of them bottles there. But all right, now back to the bourbon. So you make your mash with at least 51% corn. This spirit uh, states that, from the website, states that they're about 40%, around 40% rye. So it's a rye-forward bourbon whiskey. I'm sure the remaining uh, grain is more, more than likely uh, barley. I'm not sure whether it's malted or unmalted, but probably malted knowing these guys because they got the malt house, right? All right, so you get your, your uh, mash together, and you let it ferment, and after it ferments, you throw it in the still. They have a 250-gallon Vendome copper pot steel, and uh, after it's distilled, it goes into new American oak barrels for a number of years. Right now, the bourbons are utilizing a mixture of three- to four-year-old bourbon from, from their own grains and and some other bourbon that was originally sourced from the Midwest, probably Kentucky, maybe Indiana, to start a Solera. 
So the Solera, it's the coolest thing. They use these overseas in, in, uh, in Spain uh, to make uh, Sherry's and Madeira's and, and in Portugal to make ports and even cognac they use the Solera system. What it is is a stack of barrels. So imagine a, a stack of like a pyramid of barrels. The older spirits are on the bottom, the younger spirits up at the top. When some stuff is ready to get uh, siphoned out for bottling, they siphon it out from the lower tiers and then they add new younger spirit to the top tier and it all filters and works its way on down. So after a number of years, the Solera, the overall average age of the Solera increases. Right now, Hill Rock Solera is averaging over six years. So the spirits co-mingling in all these barrels here is over six years of age. Now, when they get it out to get ready before it gets bottled though, they throw it in a used 20 year, for this one here, they throw it in a used 20 year old Oloroso sherry cask. So the sherry can impart some really neat flavors that may be locked into some of the, the wood barrel staves. Alright, now, let's get her up on the nose here, see what she smells like. Mmm, caramel. Uh, and, and candy corn sweetness for sure. Very similar to some of the mainstream bourbons you get out of Kentucky and Indiana. It's a really nice brightness, a citrus brightness. I pick up a little bit of orange. I'm getting some nice spice off the ride too. There's a fruit tone in here. There's definitely a fruit tone in here. And I smell some vanilla. Really nice, really nice. Kind of like mainstream bourbon, but with a little bit of edginess from some younger artisan made spirit. Can't wait to try this thing here. As you can see, I done tried half the bottle before I started the review, but I can't wait to try it today. All right, let's get up on the palate. Mmm, great corn forward sweetness. Definitely caramel and toffee for sure. A little bit of fennel anise, not not real, not real strong on the fennel anise. Definitely some spicy notes like cinnamon, and I guess some pepper. A little bit of white pepper. Spirits warm, forty six point three percent alcohol by volume or, or 92.6 proof. So it's a little warm here now. I like it though. It's cold outside. I like it. Got a little edginess to it, but I like it. Behind that edginess is refinement, and I love that. Now there's something else here that I'm picking up that I really love. Let me try this again here. I'm getting a little bit of like a blackberry tone. Picking up some fig, fig, uh, date, raisin type of uh, something you find in uh, even a little bit of almond notes in here. I'm, I'm getting that. that. That's the sherry thing coming from the, the finishing in the sherry cask. A little bit of, of uh, red winey grapiness, just ever so slightly. It's in the background. It's very complex. You could sit here with this thing for hours and just smell it and taste it and take your time with it. This might, it might even be preferential to throw a teeny, teeny bit of water in here just to see how she opens up. I usually don't do that, but I might try that a little bit later. I'm kind of curious to see how it evolves. But there's some serious complexity in this here spirit. I love it. I absolutely love it. Mmm. There's a little bit of a, there's a slight bit of minerality in there that I pick up off the nose too. Mmm. I was just checking. I made some notes here because I can't remember everything like I used to. Oh! This spirit here in 2014 won a double gold at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. That's a huge honor. It don't get much better than a double gold. It don't get better than a double gold. 
These guys also make a single malt whiskey, which I told you about before that I can't wait to try, and a double cask rye whiskey finished in Madeira and port casks. Just want to make sure I got through everything I needed to get through here. I think we did. I think we covered pretty much everything. This is a winner here. Look, it's, it's got a price tag to it now. It's sitting around that $80, $90 range. But let me tell you, the complexity that it offers makes it more than worth it. And uh, it, it's not available in too many states. It is available here in Maryland in the D.C. market and Delaware. I know it's available in New York. I'm sure you can get it online, so, so check it out. Uh, oh, what is the website? I forgot the website. HillRockEstateDistillery.com or HillRockEstate.com. Oh boy, I don't have my iPad on me. Just look them up on the internet. Hill Rock Estate Distillery. And I think as the years go by, these guys are going to be knocking down so many awards here for these spirits, these whiskeys that they're making that our, our heads are going to be spinning. This is going to be, this could become like in another five, ten years. This might be like the next Pappy Van Winkle. Because, see, here's what this beer can do that the big boys in Kentucky and Indiana can't do. They can't introduce the craft element to it, and they ain't doing nothing with the Solera aging system. Come on, man. This is innovation right here. This is why I love my artisan spirit so much, and I hope you do the same. I'm E-Man Booze. Check me out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I am working on a new website soon. All my Distillery of the Month columns that I wrote, all 19 of them over the past two years, are currently not available online. We're going to try to get them up for you here as soon as possible. But check out U.S. Distilleries. Uh, Main Street Distilleries became usdistilleries.com. That's a great place to find Audison Distilleries. And... Uh, I'm working in conjunction with them on my new site. So, so we're getting into some great stuff for 2016. Thanks again for watching. Bye, you all.